All right, don't judge. This is the current state of my Anza. Wanted more speed. The programming cable was getting me about 24, 25. Um, couldn't really do anything else with it. So I bought a new controller. It's actually my second one. I blew up the first one I got, not knowing what I was doing. So now that I did a little more research, I realized the controller is the right kind. I'll put the link to it in the description. But in order for it to work right, I had to get a new thumb throttle and a new pedal assist sensor. This is still the old one. I'm waiting on an extender uh, cable so I could run it up here and actually hook up the controller where it's supposed to go. There's the old one right there in case no one's seen it yet. So controller, throttle, pass sensor, some cables, and a new display. Probably ran about 220, 230 bucks for everything. But as you can see, when I hit the throttle, it's right up, it's about 28.8. I feel like uh, 28.8 is about the limits due to the battery voltage. When the battery comes off the charger nice and fresh, breaks 29, does like 29.2. But uh, as soon as it drops just a little bit, I get 28 and then progressively slower from there. So I think the next thing after I get my cables in in a few weeks, dial it all in, is to get a 52 volt battery, higher capacity. And then that should get me over 30 miles per hour. So anyway, learning a lot. Let me know if you guys, uh, <laughs> what you guys think of this Frankenstein here. If you have any tips or tricks or ideas, let me know. Thanks. So the torque on this is a lot better. So when I hit the throttle now, it just wants to take off. The old way it wouldn't do that. And then, take that. Thank you, sir. The takeoff, sorry, I don't know how I paused the video. The takeoff is a lot better. So it just feels like it wants to lift off. It just flies. I think there's still some settings I can play with, so as I fine tune it, I'll let you know. Thanks.